your next workout. So today we are going to do a continuous circuit. It includes 10 different exercises, 40 seconds each, 10 second break in between. I'm gonna show you all 10 moves and then we're gonna run through it together. So before we even do that, we gotta start our warm up. So if you're warmed up on your own, then you can kind of ignore this warm up. <laughs> you can uh, scroll ahead if you want. So I'm just gonna work, I'm hamstring in my chest at the same time here. Remember, if you guys like these workouts, subscribe to our channel. You get six to eight workouts for free every month. Okay, next one, we're just gonna get in a wide stance. We're gonna go side to side. So I have originally done this workout if you follow me on Instagram, you would have heard that I did this workout and then my phone decides to um, say it ran out of room, out of space, and I lost the workout. So here I am doing it again the very next day. So we'll see how this goes because it kicked my butt yesterday. So this one you're going to get in that froggy stand squat. You want your knees or your elbows in between your knees, keep that back straight. Gonna lift up, back up. Okay, keep side view. <laughs> nice back, flat back, up and down. Two more. Good. Okay, we're gonna go into the ground, onto the ground. <laughs> Get in a plank position, you want to tuck the belly button in. We're just going to go into a pike and then come forward. Into a pike, try to push those heels down, come forward. We're doing this as a warm up because there is a move that actually gets us to do a push up to pike. So, might as well warm the hamstrings and shoulders up here. Good, now push back, and then I want you to walk your feet. So really stretching your calves here. Good, get back in that plank position. We're gonna do swimmers here. Just to warm up our shoulders. Make sure you're breathing through your warm up. Good. Okay. Back and forth. Two more. Good. We're going to warm up our thoracic spine, so pull up the socks here. You're going to get one knee on the ground, the other hand goes beside it, so my left foot's in front. My right hand's on the ground. I'm gonna take my left hand behind my ear. I'm gonna bring my left elbow to my right elbow. Twist up, breathe up. So exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Good. Switch sides. So, right elbow to left elbow. One more. Good job. All right. I'm going to show you all 10 moves and then we will start. So the first move is just a body weight exercise. You do not need any weight. So I'll show you the non-intense version and then the intense version. So the non-intense is you're going to jump into a dynamic, come back in, lunge, lunge. A little bit more intensity is going right into a jump lunge. Okay? 
So dynamic, lunge, lunge. After that, you're going to need, I'm using a barbell. If you don't have a barbell, you can just use a dumbbell, even a kettlebell. Uh, you're going to get in to a single leg Romanian deadlift. So all I'm going to do, I'll show you the side view for this demonstration. You're going to take one foot, push it back just slightly, set those shoulders, and you're going to go down. So the majority of the tension is on that right hamstring. If I put my left leg in front, my right foot goes back. Now the majority of the weight is in my left hamstring. So we're going to do 40 seconds per side of right and left. So make sure you choose a weight that definitely challenges your hamstring, but you can feel it in your hamstrings and not your low back. And remember guys, it's a hinge. You're pushing back. Nice flat back. You don't want to be like this. Okay, doing this is going to cause a back injury. You want to keep that chest up, shoulders back, and go down. Okay? So that's move two and three. Move four, you can use dumbbells or a kettlebell. I'm going to show you both. If you use a dumbbell or dumbbells, you're going to have two of them in a wide stance. Show you from the side again. You're going to hinge, come up. Three swings. Third one, come up. Two presses. Bring it back down. Okay? Also, remember when you swing, you're not doing this, okay? This is gonna cause injury in your back too. Come up, you tuck your your rib to spine, and you squeeze your butt. So it's a nice, powerful snap on the way up. If you use a kettlebell, it's a kettlebell, same thing. Get set up. You can do three swings. On the third one, clean it up, two presses, swing it back through, okay? So a little bit more control on the kettlebell for sure. Uh, then you're gonna use dumbbells. You are gonna do a single, single dumbbell, single, single double bicep curl. So one rotational curl, another rotational curl, and then together curl. So, Couple key points here. Not this. We're not swinging weights yet. You're not bodybuilders. You're going to tuck those elbows in, keep them in front, and you don't want to see your elbows do this. They should not go past your side, okay? Then we got dumbbell pass through for three with three ground pounds. Or, sorry, three plank jacks. So, you want to use a weight that's kind of heavy. If you're on carpet, it's even better. If you're on um, a surface that's not as easy to slide through, you might need a towel. But I'm on a rubber floor, so we'll be fine. So you're going to be in a plank position. Take the opposite arm, reach through, slide it three times. After that, you're going to do three plank jacks. Go back to three pass through, three plank jacks. Making sure you stay over your wrist, okay? So plank is this, not this. This is a bad plank. Good plank, okay? After that, we got push aways. Probably one of my favorite push-ups. I love push-ups, I'm sorry. I do. <laughs> so, you're gonna get in a regular push-up position. So you do your push-up, but as you come up, you're gonna push away and back. Push away and back. So think of like you're trying to shoulder press the ground, okay? So those are called push aways. Then you're gonna sit up. We're gonna do six high knees, go to one side, flat belly burpee. Six high knees, scoot to the other side, flat belly burpee. After that, we got six V sit pass unders with a dumbbell. So you don't want anything too, too heavy. I'm just using a one lighter dumbbell. So you're going to get in a visa position. You're going to pass the dumbbell underneath as you drive your knees in closer to your body. Press it up. Pass it under. Press it up. So you're balancing using that core. And then the final move is, give you two options. If you don't have a chin up bar, I'll show you the other option. But if you do, you're going to go burpee, come up, do a chin up, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. If you don't have a chin up bar, 
Then what I'm going to get you guys to do is you're going to do row, row, stand up. And if you want to intensify it, you can add a jump as a way up. Okay? All right. I feel like this knotted shirt is going to really bug me, so let me move it to the side. And then we're going to get started here. So, when we start my timer, we have 10 seconds where we start. All right, so we got dynamic squat Three, to jump lunge. One, Carry on. Just breathe. I try to switch the leg that goes in front every time. You don't have to. Hang in there. Remember, you do not have to add a jump lunge. You can just do a reverse lunge. 10 more seconds. Five. Good job. Great, right, 10 second break. We got single legged Romanian deadlifts. Stick to one side. You are not speeding through these guys. And a good place to go is down to mid shin. Remember, tuck your ribs in on the way up. Squeeze the glutes. Three. Good. Let's switch sides. Keep it going. Whoop. Almost lost my balance. <laughs> Good. We got the three swings, the two presses. Good. All right. The bicep curls. Active recovery here. Should be breathing heavy from the swings. So you can see with this workout, you need your equipment beside you. Squeeze the biceps, keep tension on those biceps. Five seconds. Good.
Make sure you're breathing. You can grab this. I'm gonna re just in case. So at least I have two rounds accounted for. Huh.
job. Curls. Keep looking at the camera, making sure it doesn't quit over here. Now let's see if you can't do a regular push-up. You can do a kneeling push-up into pike. That's fine too. Okay. Six honeys. Oh, I'm sweaty. Nice and controlled. Yeah. 
have to warm up. Heart cold. You have to stretch after. I'm gonna give myself 20 more seconds, and then I'll start the timer. 10 more seconds, and then we have a 10 second countdown. Okay, 10 second countdown. I'm trying to keep that heart rate up, but that I can still talk. Here we go, round three. I know those legs are burning. Just keep going. Push through it. Think of your goals. Think of your health. This is good for you. You can do it. Eight seconds. Good. See, not too bad. I used to hate those. I still don't like them, but I can stand them. That's just the heater going on because you know I'm not warm enough. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm shaking. Holy man, whole body's vibrating right now. been a bad choice. I know I do it offset, I should start heavy, but for some reason, something about the last round of things, I'm just curious to see how much more I can do.
Lugging tired, but don't quit. Hold the plank if you have to. my phone quits 38 minutes with a warm-up thank you for joining me guys like and subscribe have a good one <laughs>